true that you are a slave like everyone else you were born into bondage born into a prison a prison for your mind greetings today i want to speak to you on this subject of rebirth or being reborn i want to let you know that you have to first die to have a rebirth and never spoke about this birth and the bible spoke about this birth also in saint john chapter 3 which is the new birth and i'm saying to you being born again means that you're gonna be born from above the place of the skull the place that they call calvary and it's called Golgotha. and the reason why you must be born from above or from the skull is so that you would experience yourself your invisible self and that is why those who are connected to the message of Neville Goddard you will know that Neville was taught by Abdullah the black mystic from Ethiopia and that Abdullah wasn't just about teaching Neville the law of how to manifest things in this world but he wanted him to know what the colonial masters would have done to the people who they would have indoctrinated with a colonial mentality and point them to look outwardly to believe in a God or a savior or a redeemer outside of themselves and would have kept them in darkness kept them in blindness but most of all would have kept them in a state of death and that state of death is a state of amnesia a state of forgetfulness that is why many of us fail to realize that we are the gods that would have fell asleep and there must be a great awakening awakening and we must wake up from that dream of life so when you understand the message of symbology and Neville himself said to Abdullah everything was a symbol and we look at our ancestors and we chase everything back to antiquity everything back to ancient African spirituality where our ancestors have all been saying man know thyself we see where Abdullah was teaching Neville to look inwardly to use the law to create his reality consciously so that later on he will come to that place of understanding that true salvation is self-realization and that will come true death burial and resurrection and so when we look at the plants and we look at nature we see nature always reflect the rebirth the new birth as i would have mentioned before in a video concerning right where i'm standing here and all around here while well, the grass were born to the ground and they now start to grow again i spoke about it and said that they gonna regrow again and that was the lesson i was getting from it and so if there is a birth of god as man common sense will teach you then there must be a birth of man as god and that is the birth from above and that is why I always say to you, through experience, I've come to realize that the greatest lie that I've ever been fed to all of humanity is that Jesus and Mary's story, whereby it was fed to you as if it is literal and, of it, and as if it is secular history, pointing you to look outwardly, keeping you in mediocrity and most of all poverty and mental slavery. Because it is keeping you in limiting beliefs, not believing in yourself. So, my brother and my sisters, do not just take the message I've never gathered and run with it just to get things in this illusionary wall. This is the Maya. This is the wall of illusion. Everything is, Ill is illusionary. The real thing is your infinite self. Your true self. And that is what you're supposed to be more concerned about. Discovering your true self through death. That is why you have to die from your ego. Die from all your limiting beliefs. That is why you have to unlearn and relearn. That is why you have to understand 
that you came here in a state of amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness. So you're still in that debt. But you need a resurrection. You need to rise up. And that is your awakening. When you awake from the grave, when you awake from the tomb, and you will push the stone away, which is the base of your skull, and you will come out, and you will experience that new birth. And your son, which is humanity, it represents humanity, we definitely call you father. And you will understand what it means when it says only the father can reveal the son and only the son can reveal the father. This is a divine experience, but it takes place in, in the experience of death, burial, and resurrection. So for there to be a rebirth, there must be a death. And that is why you are told, unless a kind of wheat falls in the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. That's why I'm saying to you, if... The message I'm bringing across to you concerning self-realization. If you really believe it and observe it and focus more on knowing who you are and focus more on getting in touch with the spiritual self, when you do have that experience, you would realize that no more amount of money in this world could ever take that, the place of that experience. Being a, a multi-millionaire or being a billionaire could never take the place of that experience of being born again and having that rebirth experience of knowing why you are here, where you come from, where you are going, of seeing beyond the matrix and living beyond the matrix and see what the matrix is really all about. There's nothing that can take that, that place of that experience where you experience your Christ self, your higher self, your God self, your infinite self, where you become pure consciousness. You become one with the wind. You become invisible. You experience your invisible self. And you know, you know, you have no, you have no actual birth or death. You know, it's not real. You understand the Melchizedek story because it's your story of your spiritual identity. And that is why you will never ever again ever look outwardly so my brother my sisters it takes a debt so i'm saying to you start to die to all of the things that were taught to you as a little child get rid of these things start to clean up yourself start to purify yourself so one of these days you will get that mighty shaking you will hear that on the wind and you will ascend like a fire being you will be like a flash of lightning and you would leave from the base of your spine and you will come through your crown chakra. Because you roll the stone away. And you will come out of the tomb. And you will know the fulfillment of the entire Bible. Because you will know it's your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically. You will know that it's all mental. You know that it's all psychological. You know that the Bible is a book of mind science and must be interpreted psychologically. So there is a knowing. Yes, you can manifest anything in this world. You can have whatever you want because everyone is actually doing it. Just that some are doing it unconsciously and some are actually doing it consciously. But when it comes to discover that your real identity is your divinity, it got to be experiential. So the greatest mystery can never be known intellectually. It must be by experience. And that experience is a, is a death and a rebirth. So my brother and my sisters, you can't just say you are God in flesh because you could just create the material things, everybody is actually creating that. But when you have the experience, nothing can change that experience. Because we open up everything for you. It will be on another level. And that is why many people who have commercialized the teaching have never got it. They are only teaching you about the law. But they cannot teach you about the promise because they have never experienced the promise. They have never had any inner spiritual experience or awakening within themselves. So my brother and my sister, I want to say to you, Seek awareness over everything else. Risk awareness for everything else. Because that day or that night, when you experience yourself as your true self, your real self, your divine self, there will never be another greater experience than that that you will ever experience in this life. So, 
with that be said, my brother and my sister, I just want to encourage you, you know, not to get carried away with just material things in this world only. But to understand that those things are just to ease the blows. To help you to live life here a little bit more comfortably. But the most important thing is you discovering your true identity. Is you having an experience that would let you know that you are God in flesh. And you just know it. And no one else can have that experience for you. Where you awake from the dead. You awake from the grave. You wake up. Literally wake up. That single eye in you will wake. The eye in you will open. That's why my brother myself, I always say to you that the message I bring to you that it is the single eye. Yes. The single eye message of self-realization. Which Matthew 6 22 says that if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. And I'm saying that would take place within you. And when it happened to you, you know that the sun, as in the SUM, parallels the human imagination. The human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there's anything made that was made. And you will know that the sun is the light of the world and no S-O-N, as in Jesus, which is a lie, which is idolatry. No S-O-N could ever exist unless there first be the S-U-N. And that is why Malachi 4 and 2 tells that the sun, the S-U-N, of righteousness. So righteousness is not something that you attain. It's something that you discover. So he said, the sun of righteousness shall arise in you. Not outside of you. With what? With healing in his wings. He's going to heal you from all of the false identity and all the false claim and, and limiting beliefs. He's going to heal you from all of that. And he's going to set you free. That's why you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So, with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to say once more again to you that if it's the very first time that you listen to me and what I'm saying, it makes sense to you. If it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber, I read them, definitely encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on TikTok or you like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you ever feel strongly led to support this work, always remember. There's a PayPal and the link is down below. As you feel led to do so, the link is right there. Also, I want to invite you to be a part of my Patreon community. If you feel strongly to be a part of my Patreon community. And I want to remind you that I have a course there if you're so interested to do that course. It's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality. Can't just send us a series of videos that you can listen to that will show you that the sun is definitely within you. And when you get in alignment with the sun, that everything is going to work out in your favor. So, if you feel strongly to check it out, it's definitely available to you. Okay, and it's for people who are donating at least 20 and more dollars. So, with that be said, my brother, my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.